Auto Line on the Road from the North American International Auto Show is brought to you by Tajin Automotive Technologies and by Magna. Frank Silvaggi is the Chief Engineering Officer at Tajin Automotive and we're standing in front of what's got to be one of the hottest products that you guys got going right now. This is what? A battery pack enclosure? This, this is a battery cover for an EV vehicle enclosure. And obviously over the last few years, these have really taken off all around the world. We did our first battery cover and enclosure in 2012 for General Motors. That was the Chevy Spark. And since then, the technology has just grown so much in the last 10 years and it's changed so much. And this is what the latest evolution is. So obviously, Tejin, this is composite, it's not steel. Are automakers going to go with composites? So composites are very popular for this. Probably, you know, the biggest reason is the light weighting. When you save weight on an EV, light weighting means extra range. And this is a very fluid thing that's happening to the automotive industry. The, the engines and the powertrains are being eliminated. The drive lines are being eliminated. They're being replaced by battery modules, they're being replaced by electric motors. So you have to get the weight out because weight means range. Okay, so this compared to steel, what kind of weight savings are you guys talking about? Oh, you know, so it, it certainly depends on a lot of factors, but typically you're talking about a 25% savings. That's huge. Yeah, oh that, yeah. That, that, that's big. When, when, you're, when you're talking about trying to save weight on an EV because weight means extra range, it's everything. You must have a tooling cost advantage too, There's or no? Uh, there's absolutely a tooling cost advantage. Just just like anything with composites, you can uh, you can get more parts. Uh, component integration is is um, a lot easier to achieve, and you lower the tooling cost also by doing that. So I, I see it looks like you do have some things that are sort of in, integrated into it. Yeah, when you look at an entire battery enclosure, there's a lot that's going on, and and again, this has evolved over the last. 10 years especially, but these battery modules, they do more than just house the batteries. There are numerous safety requirements that have to happen. There are other things that happen, sealing, uh, that have to be designed into the module. And depending on what OEM you're talking about, you know, go back like I, I talked about a moment ago, 10 years ago. The battery modules, it was almost an afterthought to the body in white. Let's just bolt it in and get it in there. Today, there's a, there's a huge shift, and these vehicles are being designed around the battery module, and it's really becoming integral into the vehicle, and it's, it's changing the construction of the vehicle, it's changing how the OEMs actually build it in the assembly plants. Interesting. Um, some other automakers have argued they like steel, it gives them more modular approach versus you know a set tool to do this. Well, what's your counter argument to that? So, so a lot of it has to do with how the vehicle is being built. It depends on the architecture of the vehicle. If you look at some of the newest designs that are out there, like I had said before, the, the vehicle is being built and constructed around the battery module. So in that type of scenario, Composites gives you so much more flexibility to design and manufacture the way you want to. And certainly as EVs continue to grow, all automakers will be forced down that path. Mm -hmm. Fire, fire protection, fire suppression, that's a big issue too with this, isn't it? it? It is, it's huge, and it's one of the safety requirements that I talked about. At Tejan Automotive Technologies, we have in-house R&D, and our chemists spend a lot of time developing our formulations to meet all those thermal runaway and fire requirements because that's certainly the safety aspect that we have to keep in mind. And when we work with our OEM partners, that's one of, that's one of the biggest challenges that we all have is composites is great, we save weight, how do we do all of the safety things that we need to do at the same time? Well, I've got you here, Frank. You guys are also demonstrating this sort of honeycomb structure for panels. What's so, that about? So honeycomb is an interesting technology because usually when you talk about lightweighting, most of the time it comes with a cost. So 
There's, you know, carbon fiber is a great example over the last few years. Very Everybody's light, but very expensive. to talk about carbon fiber. Exactly, carbon's very expensive. So how often does a material come around that saves you weight and at the same time is cheaper to manufacture? And, and that's what we're on the verge of with our hexacore material. We have something that actually gives you both. And I'm not sure I've ever seen that in my 30 years in the automotive industry. So yes, hexacore um, is a very exciting material because of that. It's useful in uh, roof applications. For rooftops that rooftops get removed. For automotive, heavy truck, uh, very popular for that also. And we have numerous uh, development projects going on with OEMs to figure out how to take this material and turn it into applications for production. Okay, well, why not go beyond roof panels that get removed? I, I, could, could you do bodies with this uh, this technology? It, it is. It's it's open to to many different applications. It certainly depends on on the vehicle and what the vehicle in particular needs. Uh, but the design versatility that we have with it will take it across a wide range of applications. So is this available now? I mean, should car companies be calling up Tejin and saying, we want this? It is. It is available now. We're showing products. We're doing demonstrations. We're working with multiple OEMs already on very specific design application projects. So the OEMs are well aware of this, and we're on our way. So what about battery enclosures? Could you use your, uh, what did you call it again? Hexa uh, Hexacore. Hexacore. That's, Can that's you use our that brand on? name for yeah. Honeycomb. Um, it may have an application. It certainly depends on on the construction of, of what the battery module needs to do, what all of the safety requirements, especially the flammability that we talked about a minute, minute yeah. ago. Yeah. But there's absolutely an application for it. Oh, very interesting. I can't wait to see the, the applications that might come from this. Frank, thanks for your time. Very okay. interesting. All right, thank you. Yeah. Some things are good for a while, until something better comes along. Tejin Automotive Technologies is helping make metals a thing of the past with advanced composite materials. Tejin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility.